hello and welcome to my video tutorial today uh, today we will be um, attempting a notepad these are the materials a cardboard uh, a drawing paper scissor glue stapler a small thread some pieces of white paper as a note paper and uh, a small brown paper okay now what we have to do is I'm taking this red color you can take any other color you want uh, whatever uh, color suits you or the paper available near you I'm using a colored cartridge paper uh, it's a pink by taking the measurement you have to stick the um, entire paper onto the board uh, you have to decide uh, about the size of the board you want in advance um, I'm taking a small A4 size little bit of a uh, smaller than the A4 size um, you can take a, a bigger size board if it is available to you and uh, some few uh, kite papers or marble paper can be useful too to paste it onto that board I'm using this uh, red uh, paper to paste onto the board because I don't want the shine of the, um, the paper here I just want um, the white paper uh, to look good in it so after cutting the uh, corners of the paper I apply glue on uh, both the side of the uh, paper or board because if you are not uh, pasting if you are not applying glue onto the uh, front side the uh, paper may come out it may bulge uh, thus it gives um, a look uh, which will not be suitable it will not look good you know so will be sticking the note papers onto the front side of this uh, notepad with the help of a stapler now if uh, the paper is bulging uh, it will be difficult for us to staple the paper on it I have taken a uh, small pieces of uh, this uh, five sheets you can take a bigger paper if you want I have taken a small number of paper so that it becomes easy for me to staple it on to the board if uh, um, if uh, there is a problem while stapling the paper onto the board you can stick the paper with the help of the glue over one another so that it becomes easier for you to tear the paper when you write the note now with the help of a uh, small uh, piece of yellow paper I have uh, written notes on it and uh, with the help of a scissor I have taken out the letters and I will arrange the alphabets onto the top of uh, this uh, notepad so that uh, it looks good you know uh, the uh, top portion of the pad uh, will be blank so if I uh, put a alphabet of like uh, the way which I have done 
it looks good uh, but yes you can experiment with different kinds of uh, um, images too like uh, if you want uh, to paste a cartoon character you can paste a cartoon character on the top of it you can make it a personalized look you can also paint or draw a strip of paper of that side and can paste it onto the portion now um, I'm just you can use a toothpick to uh, make a hole um, so that I can put the thread inside it Be careful while uh, uh, attempting this uh, hole making process you know uh, be sure that uh, you have already gummed the paper properly and uh, they are evenly on the surface nothing is coming out You can use any kind of thread. Uh, this is a small thread which I have. You can keep on experimenting with the color and the size and the thickness of the paper. And now I want uh, a small loop uh, which I have uh, made by using a small brown paper the color is always optional you can choose any any color you want so I'm making a loop from a small piece of paper I want uh, a pen holder there on the right side because whenever we want to write some note uh, it's really difficult for us to find a pen at that moment so that is why I want a uh, pen holder too there so that you can find the pen also you can add a pencil I want the pen to be hanged on to that loop you can keep the pen in any way you like furthermore you can make a small hole on uh, to the corner and can tie a thread onto the pen so that it hangs you can put the pen inside and uh, attach with the loop or outside wherever you want thank you for watching